This is pretty sweet guys, check this out. So this was sent by Velocitech and I actually really wanted one of these for uh, a while. This actually came in the other day and I wasn't expecting it. So thank you very much to Velocitech. That's really awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Gotta open her up and see what it looks like in here. Oh wow, that's, that's nicely packaged. Okay, so that looks like it. And this is what you get in the package. So, let's open this up. You got your hardware. Thank you, little Velocitech. Thank you. Note that you can uh, unpeel and stick to your car. And uh, if any of you guys are looking to get a Velocitech system for your car, I'll, I'll have their Instagram up right here. Oh, that's nice. They put a little piece of packaging around there. All right. And that is your system right here. Basically what this does is it uh, sits in the front of your car here and as it says on here, big mouth, got that huge mouth. That's kind of like a ram air system and it just shoves air from the front of your bumper right here up into your air box. So there's more air around the uh, intake filter so it's easier for it to like suck in cold air. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be installing this and then I'm gonna go out into the city down to my favorite spot and take some photos with it. So I think first things first, you have to work off this part up here on the drill. And mine already comes out pretty easily. leaves in there or something. And I'm gonna use a flathead to work out these clips up here. I like, I'm gonna use a plastic removal. Much easier. All right, so there should be like four of them on this little rubber strip. And once you've got them out, pull the rubber strip off. You gotta take off these clips up here. Oh, I just launched that thing over there. Round two. I wonder where this one's gonna go. Nice. No way. All right. Well, that clip broke, but I have more of these, so it doesn't matter. And now, I'm just gonna slap on your T30 Torque. Now we're gonna remove this shroud here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's tabs holding it in on either side. You just reach in there and kind of pull them off. Yeah, like that. So once you have them off the sides, you kind of have to work your hands around and pull this top part down. And just kind of give it a nice yank. She'll come right out. We go all right so these are the tabs i'm talking about right there that's one of them right there and you just kind of open it and pull oh okay and i guess the other one came off with this but yeah basically you just pull on these and i guess they come off too but i actually won't be leaving the shroud on um it's not really necessary to keep it on and i feel like it kind of takes away from the look so we're just gonna leave it off and put it in the box of stock focus parts. So now with our shroud off, if you look up inside there, that is what we are going to be taking off. And to get this off, you're gonna need to reach up in here, pull back this rubber. There's a little clip underneath here. Oh, I feel that's gonna be tough to get to. Bottom, bottom right corner and you're gonna have to pull it out and then you're gonna go from the top. Oh, and don't forget about the clip on the other side right there. We have to take that one off too. I'm gonna save these because I realized that the clips that I launched into the 
atmosphere earlier, I broke. They're, uh, they're not supposed to launch up into the air like that. They're supposed to just pop up out of this and then you're supposed to take this part out. I thought they were just a normal Christmas tree clip, so rip. Um, so I'm gonna be reusing these for these two clips here because I'm not putting the shroud back in. Now you can just reach in here and pop this little guy out. That's what I'm talking about. So this is what this is replacing. And air can get in here much easier because this goes from where the shroud was and reaches down all the way out to your front bumper. So it, it really just forces air to get up and into this air box area. Now we're just gonna be pulling off this uh, rubber piece right here so we can get to where we're going with our bolts. I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick. This is your hood latch. Scooch that out of the way. See, now you can kind of get an idea. So this is gonna go right up where that thing used to be. And it's gonna sit right like that. That's gonna look sick. Now let me explain to you how these bolts are supposed to go. So if you hop onto Velocitex website real quick and go, let's see, actually I think it might be all the way down at the bottom. Yeah, okay, instruction manuals right down here. You're gonna get a nice list of instruction manuals to choose from. So you got brake cooling kits, Ram Air big mouth intake kits. So ST 2013, 2019, that's the one we want. So notice how there's a specific pattern that you have to you know, keep in mind when you're doing this. So here's your big mouth intake. And you're gonna want to keep the bolt with the spacer on the lower right-hand side when you're installing this. So the longer bolt goes on the, the uh, well, I guess our right, but the left-hand side of the Velocitec in the bottom. And the shorter bolt goes on the, well, you know what I'm trying to say here. My left, it's right, you know what I mean here. So like I said, Longer bolt with the spacer goes here, shorter bolt goes on the other side. So now we're gonna begin installing it. I've got my five millimeter Allen right here. All right, so now that I have that bolt in there, I'm going to hold it in place with my Allen. All right, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna take my spacer and put it on the bolt already. Make sure it hits the end. And take my intake, slide it up there. There we go. All right, got that on there. Now I'm gonna take my washer, put it up on that bolt. And this looks like a 10 mil. I'm gonna thread this on by hand first. Swivel socket. It is pretty tight getting up in there. Um, it's just sort of difficult to hold that in place and wrench it at the same time. Yeah, that's better. You want to be pretty careful tightening this because it is 3D printed. I'm just kind of taking my time because the last thing I want to do is break something. I just launched that thing over there. Well, that clip broke. That felt pretty tight. And on the instructions, it says do not tighten past a, uh, like once you get a hand tight, don't tighten it an eighth of a turn past hand tight because you could risk breaking the 3D printed plastic. So now you're gonna take your shorter bolt. We're going in the top left here. Just gonna put that on there. And actually, because I have a ripped glove over here, I'm gonna show you guys a little life hack. So if you take a part of your ripped glove, you think it's useless, you throw in the garbage. It's not. Take a part of it, put it over whatever you're trying to put a, a bolt or a screw onto, and then just push the screw onto there. Now it won't fall off. You're welcome. All right, so that's about, that's about an eighth. I don't really know if it's about an eighth of a, a turn past hand tight, but that's, about all you want to give it. All right, and that is about as tight as you want on there. Ooh, dang, that looks awesome. I love the white against the blue. Damn, kind of makes me want to do white wheels. That looks awesome. All right, well now that that's on, we can start putting back all of the pieces that I took off. Now 
the final piece. I'm just gonna slide that right like that. That was less than gentle, but damn. Oh yeah. That thing is nasty. Now that that's done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my favorite spot to take pictures for the gram, because you know how it is. Let's go. So I actually just found someone who just came up to me. They're over there. He actually just came up to me and asked if I ever needed a car app to, you know, hit him up. And that was extremely good timing because I really want my car wrapped. So that's gonna be it, guys. Um, I'm headed out. Those photos look absolutely sick. Uh, it was really nice meeting. I think one of them's name was David. Uh, I want to say the other's name is Chad. I don't remember. I'm really sorry. I'm terrible with names. Um, and the other guy, CJ. CJ with the wrapping business, dude. That was sick. CJ, good looks, man. Perfect timing. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.